Data from space are informing those fighting the California wildfires, a U.S. commercial resupply mission launches to the space station, and showcasing the powerhouse for our Orion spacecraft. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. Satellites in space have captured imagery and data of wildfires that have continued to plague California, including the Woolsey Fire near Los Angeles and the Camp Fire in Northern California. The Camp Fire, which began November 8th, has become the deadliest wildfire in the state's history. It has also become the most destructive wildfire in California history, with a vast number of structures destroyed by the blaze. Our advanced rapid imaging and analysis team used the satellite data to produce damage maps to help officials and first responders identify heavily damaged areas and allocate resources as needed. On November 17th, our commercial partner Northrop Grumman launched its Cygnus cargo spacecraft to the International Space Station on the company's 10th commercial resupply mission for NASA. The Cygnus, dubbed the SS John Young in honor of the late astronaut, launched from our Wallops flight facility in Virginia with about 7,400 pounds of research, crew supplies, and hardware for the crew aboard the orbiting outpost. A November 16th event at our Kennedy Space Center in Florida showcased the recently arrived European service module for our Orion spacecraft, which is provided by ESA, the European Space Agency, and highlighted our history of cooperation and collaboration with ESA for deep space exploration. This is a momentous occasion where we're going to have the opportunity to fly into deep space, and the European service module is a huge element of this architecture. The service module will power, propel, and cool Orion on Exploration Mission 1, its first uncrewed flight test with our Space Launch System rocket. The first group of restored historic mission control consoles, which helped land humans on the moon, arrived recently at Houston's Ellington Field near our Johnson Space Center and were unveiled before Apollo alumni, NASA personnel, and media. This event marks a major milestone in the ongoing restoration of historic mission control, a national historic landmark, and its preservation for future explorers. Expedition 58, the International Space Station's next crew, conducted final qualification training in Russia in preparation for its flight to orbit. Our Anne McLean, Oleg Kononiko of Roscosmos, and David St. Jacques of the Canadian Space Agency are targeted for launch December 3rd for a six-month mission on the station. We began research flights off the coast of Galveston, Texas in support of the Quiet Supersonic Flights 2018 series. The project uses F-A-18 aircraft flying at supersonic speeds to test community response to the quiet thump technique designed to reduce loud sonic booms typically associated with supersonic flight. The X-59 Quiet Supersonic Technology X-Plane we are developing will be able to demonstrate quiet supersonic technologies in straight and level flight over a larger area than the F-A-18. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov.